What is up, you guys? It's Susan Marat here with Clever News. And more details have emerged about what it allegedly really takes to become a royal, including Meghan's participation in her own staged kidnapping scenario as part of her security training. Little did Meghan Markle know that when becoming a part of the royal family, that she would need to make a quick return to her acting roots by partaking in a staged kidnapping as part of her intense security training before marrying Harry. All thanks to the highly anticipated tell-all book Finding Freedom, written by royal reporters Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand, which dropped on August the 11th, many alleged truth bombs were revealed. Now, before we go any further, we need to preface this story and claims by pointing out that neither Harry nor Meghan have had any part in writing this tell-all book. It's based on the findings of the royal reporters and sources' accounts of people who allegedly interact with Harry, Meghan and the royal family. People reported that a spokesperson for the couple said in a statement, quote, The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were not interviewed and did not contribute to Finding Freedom. This book is based on the author's own experiences as members of the Royal Press Corps and their own independent reporting. So on that basis, of course, make of the claims in this book as you will. Just wanted to flag that right up top first. Okay, so according to the authors, Meghan was put through very intense training sessions that are no match for the FBI. One excerpt from the book reveals that she underwent an intense two-day security course with the SAS, the British Army's most elite regiment. Sounds pretty terrifying, right? Even worse, the excerpt goes on to say, quote, Meghan took part in a staged kidnapping where she was bundled into the back of a car by a terrorist, taken to a different location, and then saved by officers firing fake guns, the kind used in Hollywood filming for realism. Fans of Meghan and Harry likely recall Meghan having to go through some basic training when they first started dating, but it was nothing like this CIA-inspired course. Us Weekly revealed back around the time they began dating that Meghan was given some basic training by protection staff, learning what to do in various situations, whether that's receiving threats or if she's worried about someone following her. The insider who dished these details to the outlet revealed that her training was, quote, very much the same process that Kate Middleton went through before getting married to Prince William in 2011. At the time, Meghan was able to receive as much security and advice as desired, as the outlet also said back in 2017 that Meghan has had access to Harry's most trusted aides since their relationship went public. So whether it's advice on a business decision or handling a media issue, she's been able to get advice whenever needed and it's been invaluable. But the fact that Meghan would be prone to such danger as a public figure doesn't exactly come as surprising to many. Royal police expert Chris Jager also revealed back in 2018 that, quote, to be forever in the public eye with very limited privacy isn't a life suited to all. But as I understand it, both Meghan and Harry spent a significant period of time discussing and exploring whether or not this was the sort of life she wanted. She is surrounded by wise advisors who will help her make the transition from her old life into her new one. Clearly this life wasn't what Meghan and Harry felt was best for them in the end as a family as they recently separated themselves from the royal family and all their royal duties. Not only does the book go into detail about Meghan and Harry's decision to leave the royals, but the tension between Harry and his brother has also been a hot topic of conversation in recent months. Scobie and Duran detail Harry and William's falling out, claiming that their never-ending drama allegedly all stemmed from money. More specifically, their royal feud allegedly all began when the brothers tried to convince their dad to give them some cash for expenses, which William reportedly got the majority of being the future monarch. A source also revealed to Entertainment Tonight saying, quote, While Charles may be a father to Harry, he's also their boss. And that makes their relationship complex for a number of reasons. Where you are born in this family dictates your position of power. And because of that, Harry has always come second to his brother, especially when it comes to funding. The insider went on to say, There were times in the past when Harry wanted to take on bigger projects and do more work but he couldn't get the money to support it. William was always the priority. A lot of their quarrels have been over budgets. A source also previously revealed that Prince Charles's 70th birthday photo shoot was an absolute nightmare, that neither William nor Harry made much of an effort to make themselves available, and that they have a history of being hot and cold with their father. It also probably didn't help the rift that according to Finding Freedom, Kate apparently didn't do much to welcome Meghan into the royal family. Another excerpt read, Though it was not necessarily her responsibility, Kate did little to bridge the divide, although she and Meghan were never at war with each other. It was said that Kate and Meghan struggled to move past distant politeness and had very little in common. 
Of course, at the end of the day, despite reports and books being written about them, Harry and Meghan are the only ones who really know all the reasons why they've made the decisions they have. And we hope they find the freedom and happiness they seek for their family in their new lives as non-royals. For a recap of all the royal scandals over the years, you can click right over here for another clever video. Then be sure to let me know all of your thoughts on the intense training Meghan underwent before marrying into the royal family down in the comment section below. I'm your host, Susan Morad. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you later. Bye guys.